Salutations crustaceans, I'm Lobster and today we are going to be reviewing the 8-string HB8 from Hagstrom. Let's check it out. This is the HB8 from Hagstrom, an 8-string short-scale bass, featuring a gloss black mahogany body paired to a bolt-on maple neck with a resonator fingerboard. I have no idea what this material is. I'm not sure if it's synthetic or not, but it's a fingerboard. <laughs> For electronics, we have two Hagstrom uh, humbucking rail pickups. These are dual coil pickups, and we have a master volume, a master tone, and a six-way rotary switch, giving us access to each pickup individually or both together, both as single coils or humbuckers. So we can look at the neck pickup, the bridge pickup, or both together, both as single coils or humbuckers, with six settings total. The bridge is a string through body only proprietary Hagstrom eight string bridge. And that's pretty much it for the body. The neck is a 30 and three quarter inch scale maple on resonator neck with a 21 fret fingerboard. And up at the headstock, we have eight Hagstrom tuners fit for the guitar and bass strings that are paired up here. This is a rather large headstock, and these are kind of beefy tuners. However, because it's a short scale, it doesn't really neck dive too bad. It's pretty well balanced. Now let's go ahead and turn this bass around real quick. Around back, we see the eight string ferrules for the four pairs of strings, and pretty much nothing else. This is a passive instrument, so there's no batteries, and there's no rear control cavity here. We see a four screw neck attachment with a Hagstrom branded neck plate, and a Made in China sticker at the heel of the neck. This instrument is made in China. However, the quality seems to be pretty nice, especially for the price range that it's in. We'll talk more about that later. We also can see the back of this maple neck and these Hagstrom tuners up at the headstock. Now, how much does the Hagstrom HB8 weigh? This particular example weighs 10.6 pounds, easily my heaviest short scale that I've ever featured on this channel. I can't believe it weighs so much. I mean, I guess I can because you have twice the tuners and a beefier bridge, but even then, 10 and a half pounds for a short scale bass is a lot. And how much does the Hagstrom HB8 cost? These cost $8.99 new, though I believe they were replaced with an updated model. I'm not sure if you can still get these new or not, but I have seen some new listings, and yes, they're around $8.99. I believe they feature a Hagstrom gig bag, however, it's nothing substantial. In regards to competition, this bass is going against other budget 8-strings like Schechter is the first one that comes to mind. I did feature one of those on the channel briefly, uh, and I actually got this from the same guy I got the uh, Schechter from, so thanks a lot, Dave. And I know you're all wondering, what does the Hagstrom HB8 sound like? You all know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. This is a weird and interesting bass. In regards to strings, I have the stock strings on here. I don't have an eight string set. And I really didn't want to order one and restring this. I mean, restringing four strings is enough, but an eight string doubled up one with those little guitar strings, I'm good. <laughs> so what you've heard thus far is the neck pickup soloed in humbucker mode. That is the first or last position, depending on how you look at it, for the six way rotary switch here. We also have a master volume and master tone. Let's take the tone down to, uh, let's take it down all the way because we're going to go through all the different pickup settings. Here's what this sounds like with the tone all the way down. Thank you. 
Very cool. Let's take the tone back up and go to our second setting on the rotary switch, which is going to be looking at the bridge pickup soloed in humbucker mode. Here's what that sounds like. <laughs> And here's the tone all the way down on the bridge pickup in humbucker mode. Now let's turn the tone control back up again and move on to the next setting in the rotary which is going to be both pickups together in humbucker mode. <laughs> <laughs> and let's take the tone down on this. Now let's turn the tone back up once more and engage setting four, which is going to be our neck pickup, the outer coil soloed. And here's that with the tone all the way down. Let's take the tone back up again, engage the next setting, and that is the bridge pickup with the outer coil soloed. Here's that with the tone all the way down. Let's take the tone back up once more and engage the final setting, which is the outer coils of both pickups. Now, I wish they had rotated one of the pickups 
So when the outer coils are selected, we would get some hum canceling. However, they are not hum canceling with both pickups engaged in single coil mode. That's something I would have liked to see, especially for a $900 base. So here's what this sounds like with the tone all the way open. <laughs> And here's that with the tone all the way down. Let's take the tone back up once more and bring our selector switch to position three, which is gonna be both humbuckers engaged fully. And with that, I am going to grab my pick briefly. Here's what that sounds like. <laughs> that away. This is pretty difficult to play with a pick if you're not used to playing with a pick like this guy right here. <laughs> but one thing I am used to is slapping. Let's see how this bass slaps with its eight strings and its short scale. This is a weird bass. This is a weird bass. Now finally, let's throw some drums behind this bass and see how it sounds. <laughs> So here are my final thoughts on the Hagstrom HB8 8-string bass. This is an interesting one. Playability-wise, it actually plays very nicely. The short scaleness of it makes it really easy to go up and down the neck, and you feel pretty good having that whole octave effect just shredding around it. It feels good. Tonally, I was hoping for a bit more at $800, and it is also a huge boat anchor for its small size at 10.6 pounds. So these are factors which I wish were improved upon given the price point. However, overall, the construction, the fretwork, and the playability are very nice. Would I get this bass over one of the other 8-string basses out there in the market for a similar price point like the Schechter? I would probably get the Schechter over this, my personal preference. So what am I going to rate the Hagstrom HB8? Ugh! I'm going to rate this bass 2 claws out of 5. Given its limited use case scenario as an 8-string, there's not 
many practical applications for an instrument like this. That combined with its huge weight, mediocre electronics, and high price tag, uh, I wouldn't call this necessarily a great value in the 8-string market. It sounds okay, and it plays very nicely. I thought the playability of this instrument was its strong point, for sure. However, its weight and just the kind of meh electronics kind of leave me wanting more overall. Let me know what you all think about the Hagstrom HB8 down in the comments below. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord channel, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the Hagstrom HB8 8-string bass. And as always, until we groove again.